Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on with our VGC Series 8 content and before we get into the details of the team, I just want to say we are playing another rental code today but if you have a rental code of your own you'd like to see featured on the channel, do drop it down below. Just a quick description, just the Pokemon that's in it and the rental code will be enough and I would love to feature it on the channel. Obviously if I don't feature it straight away, don't get too down beat I will try and make my way through any team that is posted as soon as I can so getting on to today's team it is a bit special for a couple of reasons we've got a Mewtwo here it's not a very common restricted Pokemon that we see played in the format at the minute so for that reason alone very exciting and I know there's a bunch of you out there that would have requested a Mewtwo team played on the channel so hopefully this fills a little bit of a void for you there um, and the other reason it's very special is because this team has actually been uh, made by the 2017 world champion who's just recently posted it on their Twitter line that is Ryoto Otsubo very exciting series 8 team you can see the Mewtwo has weakness policy makes sense because you've got the screen support from the Grimmsnarl uh, you've got a very nice tech between the Grimmsnarl and Regieleki where you you can go Sucker Punch Assurance and get a little bit of a boost and I'm sure the Assurance is something that you can use on your own Mewtwo to proc that weakness policy as well. Got Psychic uh, Seed with the Psychic Surge Tapu Lele there just to boost those special defenses which is great. Got a really good Trick Room check in Gigalith to come in with the Life Orb so it's going to be hitting super hard. Wide Guard support there is really nice and then the Entai which kind of helps out against a bunch of things and it's a really annoying Pokemon in this format especially with that Assault Vest. So. There's a rental code if you want to try it out for yourselves. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Ryoto's socials will all be linked down in the description if you want to check out his Twitter and other socials. Just give him a follow. He's a great guy and obviously a great team builder. And um, don't worry if you don't pick up the rental now. I'll be throwing it up at the end of the episode. So we'll have a couple of games of the team. We'll play it, see how it feels, talk it through and uh, hope you enjoy it. And then we'll throw the rental up to finish on. Okay, so first up today, we have a team of Kyogre, Tornadus, Incineroar, Amoongus, Kartana, and Regieleki. So it's pretty much your standard Tornogre kind of build that we're seeing played at the minute. We've seen it all Series 8, and I don't think it's going away anywhere soon. Looking at the options on the team, you've got the consistency of the Tailwind on the Tornadus, the Kyogre that will just take advantage of that Tailwind. You've got the Fake Out Intimidate support from the, uh, the Incineroar, the Trick Room kind of cover from the Amoongus and Redirection support there. Cortana, your late game Pokemon to come in. Benefits from the Rain and then Regieleki, another form of speed control and just a very fast option on your opponent's team. So, um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do here? Uh, I think Grimmsnarl... Grimmsnarl, Regieleki's not bad. I mean, we get our screen support up. And, uh, can take advantage of Regieleki. Do lots of stuff that we need to. I think the big key is stalling out the, 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 um, the Trick Room turns, if we can. Which is always always going to be really beneficial. Um, I think we'll go this, this. Do we want Tapu Lele here? Hmm. Maybe not so much. I mean, the Psychic Seed's not bad with the, 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 the boost there that you get, but I think I would probably lean more on on kind of these Pokemon in this match. So, Gigalith's always useful though, you know, to change the weather. Uh, and the Y God support's good, but you know, when we haven't got a Trick Room mode of our own to kind of benefit from it uh, directly, things like Amoongus and definitely Cartana cause us all sorts of issues. So, it doesn't feel like the most favorable thing, whereas Entai can come in and, and cause all sorts of issues, especially if we can remove the Kyogre pretty early on, which is going to be like a big key for us here, you know? So, Kyogre hitting the field, Tornadus. We have Thunder Wave, which is always really nice. I think Light Screen makes a lot of sense straight away for us, doesn't it? I mean, um, we do have the Focus Sash as well, which is always useful. And we could we could just, like, straight away, just straight up Electro Web. Uh, I don't think there's any reason, like, that would be a bad play. Because um, it'll take the, the Tornadus down or take it to his Sash um, and do a good chunk of damage to the Kyogre as well. And we shouldn't go down... Well, we definitely won't go down unless they double into us, but um, even if they do with the light screen support. Okay, we should be alright. So, Ryoga, I don't mind this at all, you know. That just gives us an extra turn to kind of play around with double protect here. Um, 
it's kind of yeah I mean because this next turn we can just go for a thunder wave into the Kyogre and Thunderbolt I mean do they arch impulse or do they water spark here that's the thing you know the electro webs are useful against the tornadoes because it just chips it down a little bit more kind of inclined to go for the electro web again just because of the double damage that we can get yeah and we see the tailwind which makes sense i guess that the the protector and warn is to kind of get around the potential fake out that we we have here and if you don't want to max your kyoga then it makes sense to to make that play so we are going to get the electro web off before the, the kyoga can really do anything uh, we do have a light screen up as well which is super useful Tornado is very threatened this next turn as well. Um, and the water spout won't hit as hard. We've got the light screen up. But, wow, oh my god. Oh my god. That still does so much damage. So much damage. Um, okay, I think we got Sucker Punch into Tornado now. And then we got Thunderbolt into uh, Kyogre. Just to make sure. Because the Sucker Punch will get the Tornado. Um, and then the Thunderbolt will get the Kyogre. So. We don't really need to worry about that any longer, which is always useful. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that water spout. Water spout's just ridiculous, isn't it? You know, it's taking it, taking such a chunk of damage, and it still does so much behind a light screen. It's ridiculous. Um, but we're not in the worst spot. Reggie Lecky coming in, um, and Cortana. I think what we'll do is Thunderbolt. Um, Thunder Wave, the Cortana, slot right down. Make it not so much of a threat. Uh, we've got two turns of Tailwind from my opponent left, haven't we? Yeah. So, I mean, to get around, like, we could just protect here. It's a little bit. Hmm. Do I or do I just go for an electric web and let it go down? Just if they max and then attack into us, it feels a bit redundant to go for the protect. But I mean, they would knock us out anyway. So, I mean, it's just to stall this tailwind out, really. Like, it's not really going to matter too much against the uh, the Reggie Alecki. But we'll see what this, if it's a Cartana going for the max here. I would imagine it would be, yeah. Just if we can paralyze this, then it, it means that Entai can come in and it pressures it so much harder, you know? Let's see, they might go into the uh, the Regieleki here. I'd imagine that's probably what they do. But although they may not as well, they may just go Electro Web and. Um, well, they go for the Thunderbolt into the Regieleki, so they may go and Steel Spike, yeah. Okay. And that will take us down. Which is unfortunate because we don't get our reflector. But I think... Hmm. Thunder Wave might be more useful. The beast boost is not ideal at all. Um, hmm. Then we better get Mewtwo onto the field now. Yeah, if we max Mewtwo, oh, we need to stall out the, the we need to stall out the um, yeah. What we'll do is we need to stall out this Tailwind. And then, I think if we protect this turn, and then try an Electro Web, that would be really useful if we could get an Electro Web off. But I just don't see us being able to get an Electro Web off. The problem is if the Cartana gets another. Uh, beast boost then it's, it's kind of hard to handle you know and all the time that the the, the opposing Reggie Alecki has the electro web where it can kind of lower our speed and, and uh, take advantage of us that way but we might be able to uh, get an electro web off which is I, I think a bit of an oversight for my opponent like in all honesty I think um, now Mewtwo outspeeds everything so we can just nuke the Reggie Alecki the next turn they are paralyzed um Okay, well that tailwind ends. We need to, the big thing is here, we need to remove uh, the Reggie Alecki from the field. Um, 
which we'll be able to do. I mean, we could assurance as well. Might not be a bad play, you know. Go assurance, proc the weakness policy. And then get rid of the Regieleki. And then Mewtwo is sitting in a, a phenomenal spot against the Cortana. It's plus one, so we have to be a little bit careful around it. But we do have Entai to come in, and it will outspeed it. As long as we can re remove the speed control from our opponent's side of the field, then we kind of lock this game up, though, against Cortana, regardless of how many boosts it gets. A bit unfortunate for my opponent that it was paralyzed that last turn. So let's see what goes on. Here's the assurance. A nice little bit of chip damage there. Um, and it gives you, it's a nice option because I think you do really have room for it on Regieleki when, when you know, wow, it actually adds just Okay, that's not so good. Still outspeeds us after the draw. Okay, miscalculation there. Okay. And then what's the Cortana? I mean, we're still fine because the rain's gone and we still got Entai. And if Mewtwo can stick around here, just about, uh, we've got the Max Flare the next turn. So we can set up the sun as well for Entai, which is which is super nice. And um, yeah, Cortana now, not maxed. Definitely just, yeah, got no chance this next turn, unfortunately for my opponent. Uh, so we'll go Thunderbolt. And we'll go Max Flare. Hopefully, we can get the Max Flare off. Stealing, stealing the thunder from that Mewtwo there. But very good game to my opponent. Nice one for us to kick off with today. Seeing Mewtwo in action, of course, is always a lot of fun. And this team honestly feels really good. It feels really good. Um, it's got a lot of nice options in it. I know we've only had one game with it, but, you know... You get a feel sometimes for a team. That's the thing. So we'll move on. I'll find our next opponent of the episode. Okay, next up we've got a team of Urshifu, Raichu, Kartana, uh, Tornadus, Ludicolo, and Kyogre. So, um, how are we going to approach this one? Again, Regieleki going to be very useful. We've got to be wary about the Ludicolo with its fake out support and um, pairing up with that Kyogre and doing lots of things uh, to disrupt and kind of support the Kyogre pretty well. Um, to win support. Raichu's a little bit awkward because of the uh, the ability to kind of just disrupt Regieleki here, which makes it a little bit more awkward than um, not having that inclusion. So, is it better off that we go? I think a screen support can be useful always. Um, yeah, I think screen support Regieleki's always going to be useful in this match. Um, I think Entai and then Mewtwo again I think are going to be the, the ones because it's Lele going to be really that useful I mean for the Psychic Train yes uh, if the Ludicolo decides to go down the fake out route but or the Raichu I guess but for those two odd occasions I don't really see it doing too much else other than giving Mewtwo a boost that we technically don't necessarily need so let's see what's going on with my hair today Right, so there's a lot of Kyogre kind of uh, Ludicolo on the ladder at the minute. It's kind of something that's picking, uh, you can see it's picking up in a, a bit of usage from uh, from certain players uh, on the ladder, which is interesting. Um, and we've got Raichu and Tornadus coming out from my opponent. Um, I think we light screen. And. There's always the option where we potentially just. I don't really want to lose the sash on Aleki, so I'm going to protect this turn just to get around a potential fake out. Because we can electro web here, you know. But yeah, gone into the uh, the Grim Snow. We're going to see Tailwind, which is fine. We're kind of wasting the turn of Tailwind doing this anyway. So our big job here is going to be trying to get rid of. Uh, the Tornadus as soon as possible. I think we Electro Web here. I don't really mind too much about giving the Raichu the boost. It's likely to Volt Switch out anyway. And if it does Volt Switch out, then it means we've got an Electro Web that we can utilize pretty freely. Um, 
And if they don't switch it out, then they're stuck with Tornadus and Raichu on the field, which is really not doing too much. And just wasting their Tailwind turn. So we're kind of in an alright position, in, in all honesty. They've got to kind of react and switch something in somewhere to uh, make use of these Tailwind turns, because right now, they're, neither Pokemon really do very much. I could speak too soon and the Raichu could bop us, but uh, we'll see. The Icy Wind coming out. That breaks our Sash. Yep. Which is fine. And then the Volt Switch. Okay. Well, we'll take that all day long. Because now Kyogre's going to hit the field. We're going to be able to Electro Web it. And do some significant damage to this Tornadus as well. Oh, it's Cortana. Okay. That's well, still not as bad, you know? Um, kind of preserving that Kyogre, I think, till the late, very late in this game, I think, for my opponent. Um, okay, well, we'll sit on... I think we'll go for a Reflect while we've got the opportunity to. Um, and we'll go for an Electroweb again. Get rid of the Tornadus. Take away that take away the ability for them to be able to utilize Tailwind, which is always useful, you know? I think identifying in any team that you're kind of playing against where the, the, the kind of key speed control support is and, and kind of prioritizing that. So if we do get rid of the Tornadus here, we only got one turn of Tailwind to kind of stall out after this and then as long as Regieleki is still around, which it should be, should be after this turn. Um, Unless we see the Cartana Max and it might go for. Okay, the Raichu coming back in. It's also not super bad. Um, we are going to give Raichu a free boost, but. Crit, 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 crit. Okay, that's not ideal. Not really too much we can do about that. Um. Hmm. We need to stall out this this tailwind. Okay, what we'll do? Bring me two in. Oh, we could suck a punch. We could suck a punch. The katana's like plus one, so it will outspeed me two. Yeah. Uh, let's bring in Entai, and let's just protect me two here. Like, ideally you want to be like, on Sucker Punch, Max Mewtwo, Snipe the Cortana, Kyogre's going to be in the back. Uh, losing the Regieleki like we did there to the crit, not ideal. Um, but it happens, it happens, you know. It's a high crit chance move, so we have to kind of deal with that. See what we can do with our Entai. It's a pretty safe switch in as well for Entai here. I don't think, like, if you're Cortana, you, you, you may go after the Mewtwo, but... It's more likely that you probably concentrate down on the Grimmsnarl because it's it's that support kind of option for us that's been a bit disruptive. So, um, and if anything, you're going to see um, a Smart Strike into that slot. Let's see what the Raichu does. Fake out. Okay, it's fine. And Leaf Blade into Mewtwo. All right, that's fine. Uh, Tailwind Pit is out, so we're in a good spot now. We're in a really good spot because uh, Sacred Fire get the Cartana. <sighs> the Raichu's blatantly. Mm, is the Raichu sashed? Potentially. Could be a Salt Vest as well. Might be worth doubling into the Raichu, in all honesty. Because um, we could snarl. Just the Cartana's had the Beast Boost, so that's kind of what worries me a little bit. And I don't want to get paralyzed from the Raichu. Like, if it goes for a nuzzle, we're pretty screwed. That's why an extreme speed into Raichu and then uh, Max Mindstorm is probably the better idea. Okay, I imagine it's probably sa Is it sashed? I would imagine so. I don't know, the Tornadus felt like it was maybe a little. No, I don't know if it was bulky. It took a lot of damage from that. The Electro Web. But I guess if you've got Raichu in your team, you're not as threatened by the electric type attacks, and you've got Fake Out as well, double Fake Out, which helps. So it makes sense that maybe the Raichu is uh, the Sashmon, I don't know. But whatever, we need to make sure that we do remove it from the field because that's the biggest issue. Now, 
the thing is with tornadoes coming back on the field as well it's still not going to be able to get up its tailwind so we're still not in a bad spot um we'll see a leaf blade here from the cortana yeah thankfully because we're max we take that a little bit more comfortably no crit there as well which is useful and uh, yeah we'll be able to extreme speed the tornadoes get rid of it before it can tailwind which is always useful even with the psychic terrain up because it's floating it doesn't really matter and we'll be able to get that max flare into cortana and remove it from the field uh get the sun up even though it'll be overwritten when the kyoga comes onto the field uh this is the beauty about entai you know that extreme speed just making sure that you know you've really been able to kind of punish those uh, pranks they use if you get a little bit of chip on them earlier on and uh, yeah cortana gonna go down pretty hard here um and then kyoga coming in but we'll be able to deal with that pretty easily because we can snarl um max bind storm and that should be enough to deal with it even though it will max and probably go for uh, the nuke onto the i don't know nuke the enter now you got you nuke the mewtwo uh enter doesn't really worry too much although the the consistent snarl abuse is pretty annoying so um maybe you go down that route maybe Max Mindstorm for the Kyogre and we'll be able to pick up the knockout okay they are maxing yeah Max Flare might have been an option as well just to change the weather uh, that plus Snarl kind of puts us in a super nice position but let's see how much this does and let's see if we can take I mean we still got a, a, a light screen up so we're, we're not like in a terrible spot you know the minus one Kyogre. Oh man, it does, it's, it's such a bulky Pokemon, isn't it? It's disgusting. <laughs> I love the whale. It's so good. I've not featured it enough really on the channel, you know. Okay, and I'm going to take a chunk. Yeah, not not taking that any day of the week, unfortunately. Um. Okay, well, we still got Grimmsnarl. They kind of come in. I think we can sucker punch ourselves. I'm pretty sure we can because it's. Um, I'm pretty sure we can. Pretty sure we can. I'm pretty sure we can to proc our weakness policy. If you've got your partnering Pokemon, you can hit. I don't think the psychic train affects that, so we should be able to sucker punch our own Mewtwo. Hopefully, it doesn't take us down. That would be the worst because if it takes us down, then I look like a fool. I assume it probably will. No, no, no. We <laughs> we are able to take it, thankfully. <laughs> Sweating so much there. I'm like, oh, it's going to do a lot. But me too, able to do it. So, plus two in the psychic terrain. Able to take it down. Guarantee that knockout onto the Kyogre. And pick up our second win of the episode. Uh, two really nice wins there today. And uh, show the different, I guess, like how the team performs against certain archetypes and stuff like that. So... Uh, kind of really nice to see and good games to my opponent making it very difficult for us to uh, to kind of play as free a game as we kind of would have liked so we'll wrap things up there we'll jump over and get that rental code for you once again just to remind you if you want to try this team out for yourselves right friends here is the rental code for today's team big shout out to Ryoto for actually sharing this with the online community and giving us the opportunity to play this team today it's been a lot of fun playing this Mewtwo team we've had a, a, like and I will be playing more of it because it's just one of those teams that I think it's really interesting to see how it does and uh, performs on the ladder and see how kind of high we can push it so I, I will be streaming this week it'll be interesting to see how far we can kind of push it uh, if you try this team out for yourself definitely let me know down in the comment section below I'd love to hear how you get on with the team and i'll wrap it up there friends so thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all for another episode very soon um so until then take care and bye bye